Baby Driver is the latest film from one of my favorite directors, Edgar Wright, and it stars Ansel Egort, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Spacey, John Hamm, and John Bernthal. And our main character in this film is named Baby. He likes to make mixtapes out of conversations that he listens to. He's partially deaf, and he just so happens to be a fantastic getaway driver for criminals because he's trying to work off a debt that he has with Kevin Spacey's character. So as you might expect, things go okay for a while. He's earning a lot of money until he meets a girl. And then things go south and we have some problems. Now really quick, please stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm doing something really cool with Full Sail University. They have an amazing film degree program, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that after the review. Naturally, I was really excited for this movie because I would honestly give every Edgar Wright film so far my perfect grade. I adore his films. They're all very fast paced, extremely funny, insanely well directed, and the editing is just a beautiful thing to behold. So going to Baby Driver this early, man, I was pumped. And it didn't disappoint. The first act of this movie in particular is essentially filmmaking perfection. The chase sequences are some of the best I've ever seen, and they all look practical. There's a few moments in the movie that utilize CGI, but it is very, very sparse. The chase sequences featured in this movie are some of the best ever put to film. But the film also heavily utilizes music. In fact, in a lot of ways, the film is almost a pseudo-musical while also being a car chase movie. There's a long, unbroken take early in the film where Baby is getting coffee for the other criminals, and he's going through the streets and a song is playing on his iPod and he's singing along to it. Pay attention to the graffiti that's on the walls behind him. If you look closely, you're going to see some really cool Easter eggs. Edgar Wright, once again, has done something that a lot of people may call style over substance. In fact, I would say that's the main criticism I often hear of his films, which to me... I just don't put too much money on that. I think style is really important. It helps diversify your films from other people's films. Because if they were all the same, then that would be boring as shit. And here, his style is just so noticeable instantaneously. You don't even have to know that it's one of his films, and you can just tell instantly. And that's one of the beautiful things about Edgar Wright as a director. Ansel Egord is great as Baby. Now, I was a little concerned about this because I did think he was fantastic in Fault in Our Stars, but it just felt like the type of role I didn't expect to see him in. But I wasn't going to complain about it until I saw the movie, and I'm glad that I didn't because he is really, really good in the action scenes and the more intense moments, but he's also a character that's very stone cold. He doesn't speak too much, but he retains so much information. He can sit down, Kevin Spacey can lay out the entire plan of their getaway and the job they're trying to do. He won't say a word, and Jamie Foxx will turn to him and be like, I'm not sure about this guy, you know, he's not saying anything. And he takes out his iPod and just repeats the entire plan instantaneously because he's able to retain all of that. And he really pulled it off as an actor. I thought he was fantastic in this film. Jamie Foxx also, so freaking good. Just so sly and cool and really badass. I loved him in this film. And Kevin Spacey also has his signature way of delivering a lot of dialogue very fast in a very deadpan manner, yet somehow conveying so much emotion without really too much expression. He's a very good actor who doesn't act per se. He never tries to overstate himself in a scene. And whenever he's on screen, you just feel that he has the command of the moment. He's fantastic in the film. Lily James plays the love interest that Baby eventually meets halfway through, where things start to get a little topsy-turvy for him. Now, this is the part of the movie that I would say is the weakest. After we transition from the opening first act that is so breathtaking into the second act, which is a lot slower. And this isn't necessarily because there's no action happening, it's basically because I didn't really feel very invested in the romance, which is a big problem because it's a major portion of the film that's supposed to get you to care about the third act. And the romance was set up so quickly with very little characterization and not much depth. And she often makes decisions that are life altering for a baby that will change her life and put herself in an absurd amount of danger and in trouble with the law in a split second without much thought. So she's either a very, very dumb character or this movie is almost like a fantasy because in certain scenes it does feel like that. The romance just feels so outlandish and it didn't really work for me. But John Hamm and Jamie Foxx and Kevin Spacey and all these amazing actors giving really charismatic performances kept the film interesting for me even when that romance fell flat. But the third act really picks up once Baby makes some decisions about the way he wants his life path to be. 
And then we get a lot of really amazing action sequences. And again, still really great performances. And Edgar Wright directed the shit out of this movie. There's barely a boring shot. Everything looks phenomenal. The cinematography and all the camera work is top notch. What I think a lot of people are gonna be talking about once they see this movie is the soundtrack. I won't spoil the song choices, but they're all very unique and they all have a purpose in the movie. And as I said, the movie is almost a pseudo musical at times. And so the songs are very much so incorporated within the way certain scenes are edited so that they flow with the action you're seeing. I really can't wait for you guys to see those scenes because I found them really technically impressive. So besides the romance that felt abrupt to me, everything else in Baby Driver I had a complete blast with. It's another really entertaining movie from Edgar Wright and it solidifies, if it hasn't already been solidified, his status as one of the best directors working today. I'm gonna give Baby Driver an A minus. Also, it was great to meet some fans at this screening, Wyatt and Tony. Thank you so much for coming up to me, guys. It was really cool to talk to you. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. So as I said, Full Sail University got in contact with me, and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. And what they're doing right now is pretty cool. I know a lot of my viewers have a serious interest in working in the film industry someday, and with Full Sail's Digital Cinematography Online Degree Program, they merge the artistic concepts of traditional filmmaking with the technical tools used in everything from documentary filmmaking to commercial production and web video. Their bachelor degree program emerges you in the world of filmmaking from every angle. You'll gain hands-on experience while learning what it's like to work on a film from start to finish, giving you a feel for the role each crew member plays in a production. Graduates from Full Sail University have worked on films and TV shows like Doctor Strange, Star Trek Beyond, Captain America Civil War, and The Walking Dead. If you'd like to learn more about Full Sail University, please visit fullsail.edu slash chrisstuckman to learn more about their degree programs and all of the great things they have to offer for film lovers like you and me. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.